me! Oh my god, no! Oh, royal delivery, royal hogs, everything's down! Ah, uh, log, hogs, eight, seven, six, five, four, fireball! Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. We are already inside a Grand Challenge 9 and 0, so we do have some margin here. Hopefully we can flawlessly sweep this GC. But we're playing with the best mortar deck in the game. The stats back that up. It is the number one win percentage mortar deck inside the game with the Royal Hogs as well. And by the way, uh, sorry for the no green screen background right now. You get a, a look behind the scenes here as I forgot to set up my green screen for today's video and he was already inside a match. But either way, we're going against Bomber to start things out here in this video. By the way, we are joined by Debu, a Japanese player, as you guys can see. First time on the channel, so happy to have him on and see what he can do with this deck. He just won a grand challenge this morning before I recorded this video. I asked him if he's willing to do another one let's see if we can go again flawless so going against the hunter here and by the way guys I, I have mentioned this a few times now you just saw it come down right now it is the royal delivery i am such a big fan of the royal delivery i personally think it is one of the more underrated cards or spells inside the game it's just such a good stopper card you know and you can use it against because of the you know the it hits air is what i'm trying to say because it hits air when you drop it down it has that extra utility as well and of course Course, it's good for distractions against princes pekkas whatever mini pekkas as well uh so here we go guys damage advantage about halfway through this match 25 24 23 seconds left here inside the first match and it looks like uh you think this is what do you think this dude's last card is here that we're going against it's weird that you see it with the goblin hut i'm thinking it might even be a pekka uh deck but but who knows uh what the other tank is it's definitely going to be a tank so I'm thinking, again, might be P.E.K.K.A. Graveyard. We're going to, again, just delivery splat on top of those Zappies and reload with the Mortar here. Giant Skeleton, man. Shame on me, dude. I should have known it was Giant Skeleton. Either way, Giant Skeleton is such a pain to deal with. <laughs> I, I hate dealing with Giant Skeleton. Not as much as I hate dealing with Sparky, though. So it looks like we're going to go ahead and uh, just set up defense here with the Hunter. We also cycle an Earthquake. That's something that you're going to see here, Debo, when we talk about this deck strategy. You're going to see a lot of spell cycling any time in double elixir time. We can get any value out of log or earthquake. We're going to take it. And then after a successful defense, if we can't go in for offense, we will go in with the, uh, let's see if we can defend this. Ooh, Royal Hogs played. That way they can poison. Very, very well done. Allows our spirit god. But the Giant Skeleton! Oh, no. Oh, no. Giant Skeleton on the tower. Boom! 606. We do have the damage advantage, but my word. Okay, Log Earthquake will get it done. GG's. All right, what I was saying is you're going to have to strategically cycle your Earthquake in double elixir time. Oftentimes, uh, does a ton of damage. There we go. One match, one victory. Be right back. All right, guys. Here we go against Oyasu. Oh, the 2.6 Phenom here. Also Japanese player, obviously. Starting out this match, we go Spear Goblins at the uh, center in front of the river there. Man, this is going to be a tough one. We go with the Mortar. They go, or Oyasu goes with the Hog Rider. So, man, Oyasu's very good. This ought to be a very good match. So, here we go. So, just a little inside info today. I have these dudes <laughs> at my house trying to fix my heater. My furnace is broke. So if they call me, I might have to leave you. I can't pause a grand challenge. I might have to leave for a second. It's going to be the first time I bailed on my own video. <laughs> but just forgot to let you guys know. Give you a little heads up. Hopefully we can make it 20 minutes or so without having to, uh, you know, say bye to them. And give them money, essentially. So anyway, here we go. Woke up this morning. No heat. Very cold. Poor Charlie. Me and Charlie were just like, wow. I like it pretty cold in my house. But geez, this is really freezing. Anyway, it was the furnace. It wasn't working. Anyway, here we go against 2.6. Obviously, we cycle our first earthquake against the left tower. Oyasu has the damage advantage. Of course, we kind of expect that here. Uh, but let's see if he has... Let's see if Oyasu has... Okay. So we just go with the high mortar there. Notice the high mortars, guys. Nice activation. Oh! We didn't get the activation, the King Tower activation there. I thought he was going to get it with those skeletons maybe just a second too early. Or I should say a millisecond too early there on those skeletons, I believe. 
Uh, so let's see if he can get it on the next time, but we'll take it for now. So Royal Hogs, I don't think we, have we played them once yet? Anyway, Hog Rider comes in opposite lane. Oyasu obviously is uh, very, very willing to hit both lanes with the Hog Rider to get your best counter out of hand and then cycle quickly to a Hog uh, in the other lane. Let's see if he does that here. He goes Skeletons, we go Log, he goes Ice Spirit in the back, Ice Golem, and boom, Hog Rider's already down again before we're back to Hunter. Instead, we go with the Royal Delivery again and the Mortar on the defensive end. However, Oyasu's still going to break through for a Hog Rider hit despite all of that defense that we threw at him there. Nice Log also hits our uh, Royal Hogs, so that was unfortunate. Log clips all of those Skeletons just narrowly, and we get... One pig to the tower in the left-hand lane takes it down to 1924. Musketeer still alive, looking for a big attack here from Oyasu. We cycle Hunter opposite lane. We go in with that mortar again with the Royal Delivery there at the bridge. Again, Spear Goblin's down, narrowly, narrowly avoiding that fireball. So here we go. We have an unhealthy... Uh, okay, here we go. Hog split. I like that hog split there. Earthquake comes down but misses the cannon. Hog Rider comes in again from Oyasu. We go this time with just a knight. I guess a card away from Mortar still there. We go with a log as well, but another Hog Rider hit on our right tower. This is a battle of two cycle beasts here on the channel. Okay, so we're split. We're going with Spirit Goblins in the left, intercepted and distracted by the Ice Golem. And again, we go with that Earthquake. Do we have Hunter? We don't. Uh, or at least not enough elixir to play him. Instead, we go with the log in the night again, eating one more hog rider hit. Not enough damage really to show for that on the opposite side of the arena. Here comes that cannon to take care of those spear goblins. Meanwhile, we're not able to kill the musketeer. That's going to help. But no, we miss it. We miss the hog pull, guys. Hunter is down. Actually, maybe we intended to miss it. Let's see. Hunter able to kill the hog. Fireball comes down against the royal hogs. And again, no damage. We just can't break through here. Spear goblins. Log maybe. Log comes down. And again, just adding up the damage on that right hand tower. 898 remaining. Fireball cycle time for Oyasu. We need to get that cannon down. We earthquake, but not on the cannon. Instead, on the uh, tower. It was nice to get tower damage, but we can't break through with those hogs. Here we go again. This mortar fireball is going to come down. We know it is. Actually, it comes down. It does come down, but on the defensive end for Oyasu. 12 12, recycling logs. Here comes Spear Goblins again. Hog Rider comes in. We have the mortar back in cycle. Let's see what we do on defense here. Okay, we go with a knight there at the bridge. I was like, what is he going to do here? We cycle an earthquake. We cycle a log. Oh, no. A spirit goblin is down. We go with a high mortar. Nice job pulling that hog rider back. Say, wait a second. Get over here, hog. We get one mortar hit on that cannon. The second cannon is taken care of by the... Oh, time's up. But either way, Oyasu had us, man. Oyasu, you dirty dog. You ruined our perfect challenge. Let's not make it the curse of Oyasu. All right, guys, inside the next match here against Azen, a few seconds late, starting out with the Tornado and the Earthquake in response here. We're still 10 and 2, so let's see if we can make this video a flawless one from here on out. Oyasu, such a good player, though. Such a good player. Anyway, here we go with the Hogs, uh, actually getting a lot of damage on that left-hand tower. So nicely done. It's been forever since we've covered Mortar here on the channel. Nice job with the defense there. Knight is so powerful right now inside the game. It does look like we're going either against Electro Giant or Graveyard here. Go with the Hunter. It's going to ruin that baby D's day. And the opponent goes with the Barb Barrel. Still could be E-Giant. Still could be Graveyard. We go with the Log there. And chipping away a little bit more at the left-hand tower of Azen, the opponent from Twitch slash Zikini. Shout out to Zikini. All right, so I think it's gonna be Electro Giant and Lightning the last two spells, but we shall see. So we get a couple nibbles on that left tower, 1639 remaining. And this is gonna be a perfect opportunity for the Royal Delivery, right? That's why I love that card so much. 
just absolutely stops that push and keeps our knight healthy enough so we can maybe support it with spirit goblins or something. Now that the E-Wiz is played, we're going to forget about that, but we do get a nice earthquake down against the E-Wiz doing more damage. And there it goes, guys. The Electro Giant, we called it. Here we go with the mortar opposite lane. So we have Hunter, does not do very well against E-Giant. We have mortar to pull. We don't have a lot of answers, really, do we? I mean, Knight is our best bet. Let's see what we do here. Going with the delivery as well. Man, we're chipping away fast, but Lightning does come down. We go with that Hunter and check out that Hunter's health. It, okay, we pull it back up with the, uh, the mortar. I like these mortars that he puts on offense here. Uh, does a great job of doing that to pull those troops. Same thing with the Royal Hogs. Not afraid to use those Royal Hogs at times as well. So here we go. Our barrel comes down. We pull again with that high mortar. That will get a lock on that left-hand tower unless he does something. He doesn't do much. He just uh, kind of NATOs everything over. But that one mortar hit, you know, who knows? Could be the difference, right? A lot of close matches in this video, I'm sure. So here we go, seven, six seconds remaining on the clock. And a Dark Prince cycled in the back by the opponent. And here it comes, another E-Giant. We go with the log. We pull with that very, very high mortar all the way to the edge. And then we go in again with that Royal Deliver. We have Knight back in hand, so really no worries here on defense again. We have Spear Goblins nice and low, evading that, uh, ooh, okay. So he goes opposite lane with his E-Giant here. E-Giant says, sure, I'll go for the right tower. It doesn't really work out for the opponent, though. Now we can ear Earthquake Cycle again here. I'm looking for more Earthquakes, and there they are. Looking for a pull here with the Mortar. Again, a high Mortar for us. Way out of Lightning range for the opponent. And again, that E, uh, the Electro, uh, uh, the Royal Delivery, there we go, does come down. So again, notice how we're placing those mortars way far away, avoiding any lightning value for the opponent on our weak side tower. Now we have knight down again. They're not really going to use a lightning on just a knight, so we're placing our troops here one at a time, very, very strategically, trying to again mitigate lightning value, and you see it there again. We're in triple elixir time. we got to be careful here, because this one will not be over until it's over. The opponent has one more push left in them. Here we go with the Hunter and the Knight intercepting that uh, Royal Giant at the bridge. They allocated so much Elixir that they're not going to Lightning here. I mean, they could, but no, they don't Lightning. We Earthquake again. That takes care of one of those e whizzes. We're one log away, actually one Earthquake away now, and that's going to be GG. The opponent really can't do anything against this deck. Earthquake log, that's going to be game, set, match. Let's go for the 12 win, guys. All right, guys. S. Bond from Predator Z Gaming is our next opponent going for that 12 win victory. Let's see if we can pick it up here. Again, Spear Goblins at the bridge seems to be the go-to starting play here. Uh, and we go in with Royal Hogs in the right. Here comes the Night Witch. Here comes the Goblin Cage as well. So Night Witch, Goblin Cage. Uh, now we have a like pretty formidable counter push in, but Hunter's going to make quick work of that. Actually, Fireball comes down, so thank God we actually used the Knight there as well. Nice cleanup. So Fireball, Night Witch, and uh, Electro, or excuse me, Dude, why do I keep saying Electro? This is the second time I've been like, an Electro! Or we can call it a, a Goblin Cage. Electro or Goblin Cage. Either one works here, Ash. So here comes the Lava Hound. I was going to say, is this a Lava Deck? Or a Golem Deck? You don't see Fireball with Golem, so there we go. And that should be the go-to play against Lava Hound. Mortar, same lane, immediately. That way they can't drop the, or they're, they're forced to drop the balloon ahead of time or after the fact. Most good balloon players will not drop it ahead of time. Here we go again with the knight down to distract from the flying machine. We have one spear goblin on that flying machine. Meanwhile, Miner does come in. We get some serious damage on that left-hand tower, though, with the Royal Hogs, applying some nice opposite lane pressure. But we're in a situation here now. All we really have is this hunter. Ro Royal delivery as well. Yep. Okay, do you need me? All right, I appreciate it. And there we go. <laughs> the heat is fixed. <laughs> so here we go again, cleaning up off this Night Witch here. And 10 seconds remaining in single elixir time. This is one of those, this is one of those moments between me and you that uh, I'm casting, you know, Clash Royale over here. All right. I think they left. I think they left. 
All right, so we're casting uh, Clash Royale very enthusiastically, and uh, <laughs> knocking on the door. Ah, uh, it's all set, guy. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, so we go with the Royal Hogs here. <laughs> Fireball does come down on them. Things looking pretty good here to get to finish off this 12 win. Gotta say, that's never happened before, but I had to record. It's Japan and US time, you know? Time zone issues. We don't finish off that flying machine. That might come back to haunt us here, guys. Oh, that Royal Delivery should have hit the flying machine. Uh, luckily, we do have the knight down in time, but a Lava Hound here at the bridge. Oh no, oh no. Meanwhile, I'm like, Lava Hound out the bridge. And he's like, yo, bro, your, your heat's good. Alright, so Miner gets on the tower momentarily. We do have a mortar connection. Wait a second. Eight, seven, six seconds remaining. Our tower is gonna fall. We have the earthquake in hand. No, no, no! We didn't earthquake. We didn't earthquake. Be right back. I don't know, guys. We could have even logged there. Was it enough? You guys can go back and rewind. I can't. Could we have won that with a log? Dude, that was the worst. I thought that was the end of the video. I thought that was the end of the video. Oh my word. All right, Mickey Tovar from Team Legends. Come on, man. That was, my man got robbed. Not really, we should have earthquaked or logged, but that sucked, man. Hey, I've done way dumber things than that, so it is what it is. Maybe we didn't have the elixir, maybe we were too focused on defense, I have no idea. But I thought, I don't know if, if that was going to be a win, but it should have went into overtime there uh, either way. So anyway, here we go. A bar barrel comes down. Nice job by the opponent. Forces a log out of our hand. We're going to take a few hundred damage thanks to that flying machine in the right-hand lane. Here comes Royal Hogs by the opponent. And we go with a, probably a deliver hunter. A hunter is down, but man, that's a lot of damage on our right hand tower. Falls to 11.05, could have probably even been worse there. Nice kind of RNG with that hunter. We go with a knight, and they go with zappies. Nice knight there. I probably would not have done that, just not being able to recognize what's in my opponent's hand, right? So is this gonna be the curse of Oyasu? Did I call it, dude? All right, here we go. Mortar down, recruits down. This is such an annoying matchup for Mortar, right? That's why Mortar right now is in a very tough spot by itself, right? You really need, and we're taking a lot of damage to the recruits in the left-hand lane. This is not feeling pretty good here, guys. Uh, that's why you really need two win conditions in your deck, right? And what's up with this sun on my face? This video, what a mess. You take away the green screen and see what happens, the whole video falls apart. All right, here we go. It's gonna be a delivery coming down on those pigs. We get another mortar hit as well, so look at those pigs on the tower. We do play the knight. We log away that E spirit. So nice defense, all things considered. There's only 15 seconds left inside this match, potentially inside this grand challenge. We go with the earthquake here. And the defensive mortar, 1280 remaining on their weak side tower, 810 on ours. Hey, whoever's tower falls first wins. That's why you subscribe here for that expert commentary, right? Whoever tower falls first wins here. Uh, so we only need to get one down. So the fact that we have one tower a little bit low on the left-hand side, really not that big of an issue. So let's see what we can do here. Goes with the cage last second. We go with, again, the earthquake. Spear goblins down. So is the bar barrel. We respond with a royal delivery. And wait a second here. We are creeping back into this thing. Let's see, can we get a mortar shot off? We don't. Log instead. 962 on the tower. Here comes the recruits. Go in with the defensive mortar. We go in with the spear goblins. They need that delivery. Delivery comes down on the left hand side. That means we take a little bit of damage on the right hand side. The fireball comes down. 528, beautiful log though. All right, 528, ah, ah, ooh. The motor at the very last second there. So, same thing with the bar barrel. We go with the hunter right on top of the mortar. Oh my word. Okay, we need some damage is what we need. He has fireballs, so a couple fireballs and we're done. Ah, oh, the hunter dies, that was unfortunate. And here comes a big, we go with graveyard. Big push incoming, big push incoming. 
Spear Goblins played. Fireball predicting the Spear Goblins. We go the Hunter High against the Flying Machine. Poles was recruits to the center. No, the Flying Machine. Oh, the Knight comes down the very last second. We are 26 seconds remaining inside this match here, guys. 613. We go with the Log. We go with the Earthquake. A Bar Barrel comes down. Royal Delivery is down. Oh, we need something. We need something. We need something. We need something. 66 HP. Oh, my God. No. Oh, Royal Delivery. Royal Hogs. Everything's down. Ah, uh, Log. Hogs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, fireball, no, 47 HP. We lose, but I gotta say a big shout out to my man, Debu. I'm still gonna upload this video because you can't win every time. And if I upload it only wins to the channel, well, it'd be, it'd be too predictable. Those, that was the curse of Oyasu. It's real. <laughs> All right, big shout out to my man Debo. Check out his player stats and profile links to statsrail.com. Check out G Fuel. Got 30% uh, for one more day off. You can use my code ASH. And a big shout out to Bren Chong as well. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care, guys.